Hello and welcome to another very something different, everybody. You know, uh, they uh, did something quite bold at Games Workshop. They announced this week that we were going to get Captain Underpants. Oh, I, I mean uh, Inquisitor Kotaz. Because uh, he definitely looks like the old model. I've rarely seen a uh, new thing made with newer technologies that is this much of a downgrade. But... You know, they're going above and beyond to make sure that we're always somewhat disappointed with their new releases. And, um, I don't know. The man's regrown hair, he's taken on the proportions of a Votan stretched out, and he looks like a ten-year-old in a romper suit. I just don't know what to say, and this is before we get to uh, Tactical Rock on the slightly bigger base for his double-headed eagle amazing lovely gotta love it i don't know i say this is intern by design and i mean it has the idea of what was what came before but with no continuity or in effect, there's no through line between this model and the other one other than some vague uh, aspects of the design, like the hammer and the eagle, and that he wears a cape that has fur on it. <laughs> I mean, just what were they thinking when they made this? They could have just made a new Inquisitor. Um, they could have made a multi-part Inquisitor. And maybe a multi-part double Inquisitor pack. Ooh, or you have uh, one that could be in power armor with multiple parts and options. And the other one that has a more uh, inquisitorial bent. Maybe you could gotten maybe even a three pack. You could have a three. <laughs> a threesome of Inquisitors. Amazing right there. Such content. But... Instead, we get... I just don't know what they were thinking. The legs are absurd. He doesn't look like he can twist his body or lean slightly forward. Can his arms actually twist from side to side? Or is he like one of the old He-Man toys and he only moves them up and down in aggressive manners? With the slight torso twist of the He-Man toys too. If we're talking the 80s, ladies and gentlemen. And is it just me, or does he have this overwhelmingly stormcast feel to his armor? With just how all of it looks. It's, it's like someone just took something else, slapped it together, and then called it that character. Because they wanted something that older fans would actually recognize by name, but not necessarily look. I'm not sure what the um, attempt was here, but it doesn't look like it was sculpted by someone who had a clear concept of what they were doing, unless they really, really wanted to make a character that looked in no way like the original. This isn't when they take something and they make a nicer version of it with cleaner design and sharper uh, details. This is a completely different character with the same name, effectively, as far as I can tell. He has things that are like that. He's like the Netflix version of the original uh, Inquisitor. He's like the thing that you care about, but fatter, cheaper, uglier, and vague. Vaguely like it. Just, just enough that on the surface... You can come out and be like, oh, is that supposed to be that character? Is that you, Albert Wesker? <laughs> that kind of feeling that you get when you, you look at it. Also, why would you... Uh, here's, a, here's a thing I would have done. I would have taken the older model. I would have made a slightly updated version in the same pose and everything. And cashed in the money because my lord the amount of people who would buy an up just an updated version of that model for conversions for their own inquisitors for space marines for whatever would have been something that would have sold it forever 
This might see some for like, maybe you have uh, some Terminator type character customizations that some people might make to it. Uh, but I just don't know. I, as a design, this is very amateurish and it looks mostly like a reuse of assets, CAD design effectively. And it's more of, hey guys, do you remember this name? Well, buy our stuff without really, you know, going the whole 100% of effort and actually making something that resembled the character. This is just garbage, effectively. It could have been a generic character, a generic inquisitor with a couple different head options. So, who knows what's inside the power armor? It could be, uh... Terry Gillum, um, Andre the Giant, who knows, uh, Wilma Flintstone, whatever, it's, it's armor, I mean, it's just disappointing, what have they done to my boy, because I remember when this, the original codex that had him out, came out, and it was a fun, it was interesting, I, I really liked the idea, this just doesn't have any of that character, it's, bland and generic and boring and safe I think that's probably the best thing we can say here it's safe this is safety personified in a model and I really don't know what else I can say it's it's kind of like Captain Underpants in that regard it's safe it's kind of bland and a lot of people know it mostly because it's inoffensive so hey good job in intern you made one hell of a 40k version of captain underpants in a fat guy suit have a nice day Bye bye